Welcome to Transformers Reanimated, the podcast. Today we will be reading issue 17, The Terror Within, part 2. With me is my partner, Greg. How you doing, sir? I'm good. Coming soon, Transformers Reanimated, the lunchbox. Mm. <laughs> if you haven't watched want in. Spaceballs in a while, go do it. It's still a winner. <laughs> the coloring book. <laughs> The flamethrower. Right now, the kids love the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with us today to lend their vocal talents are James. Hello, hello. How's Canada, <laughs> James? It's hot, hot it and is. wet. That's nice with you, old lady. Never mind. Uh, it's going well. It's going well. <laughs> that was my really poor, poorly done, Robin. Ah, uh, Robin, peace, peace, brother. <laughs> Anyway, oh, uh, oh. yeah, good, good, good. Woo woo. <laughs> Getting the gang back you together. You ready to do about thirty? You ready to do about thirty voices for us today? Oh yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us. May not thank me later. Uh, we also we also want to welcome on to the podcast the resident boomer. We've got Stuart. <laughs> oh man. Hey. Uh, hi everybody. Hey. I think some of you are older than me. <laughs> I've forgotten more than you'll ever know. <laughs> if you do the exchange rate, I'm pretty young. So. <laughs> I used to get Netflix in the mail. <laughs> What's mail? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Stuart. Are you ready to do about thirty voices? Oh, absolutely. I All right. Well, why don't we uh, why don't we get into this because we know we've got listeners who are dying to know how this sucker ends. Let's uh, let's start by taking a quick minute here to look at uh, Dan Hanna returning for this cover for issue 17. We've got Abominus holding Optimus Prime and Megatron like Tinker Toys. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a cover that gets the uh, point across. Some shit is about to happen, right? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Is that to scale? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Everything is to scale. Yep. <laughs> it's rock 'em sock 'em. <laughs> Every email I send an artist starts, this has to be in scale. <laughs> <laughs> that mega, uh, Greg, that e- Megatron in the corner, he's not to scale. Septuplet fold. Centerfold. Greg, your your memory is phenomenally better than mine. Did we have a reference for this or did, was this uh was this a unique thing that we just came up with and told Dan? No, this is one we just thought, um, let's do this. Being that uh from the last issue, the origin of the Terracons, we had them as uh sort of failed experiments of Wheeljack. Imagine that. Uh the where they were intended by Wheeljack to be a new Autobot team, but then they end up becoming the new Decepticon team. So we thought it might be cool if Abomin- we sort of a tease, tease Abominus on the uh, on the cover being like, oh, maybe he's going to go Prime's way, maybe he's going to go Megatron's way. But that's why he sort of, if you look closely, you can see there's uh, a, a con symbol on uh, Abominus's chest, but there's also an Autobot symbol on there as well. So. Ooh, you cheeky, oh. cheeky. <laughs> So yeah, he's not yet. Uh, he hasn't gone all the way yet. But I mean, obviously we know he will because of season three and things like that. But yeah, we thought, well, spoilers. We can we can <laughs> we can tease our own shit. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, but I really love the poses that uh, Dan came up with too for for Prime and Megatron because we pretty much just were like, oh, have him have like a bominous holding Prime and Megatron in some way, and it was like we don't know whether he'd be holding them like you know, like hands around the waist kind of holding them like King Kong or what, but this actually works a lot better with the... <laughs> now kiss! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Did you see me playing with my toys? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't see you playing with your dolls again, sir. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> oh, your yeah, helmet I mean, is so uh... big. <laughs> <laughs> and for you much older listeners, that was Spaceballs reference. <laughs> See? It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now comb the desert. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, awesome cover by Dan as always. Uh he really brings out the like the G one cartoon aesthetic, I think, too, so um which is 
like all like all the artists we've got uh, have done, but yeah, Dan's. I like his prime. It's also really. clean. It jumps out. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's 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 a good guy to deal with too. It's like, oh, we were thinking about this, and he's like, yeah, I can do that. Like, sweet. <laughs> I ain't doing that. You guys are lying. It's done. <laughs> yeah. You want what? <laughs> All right. Shall we dive in, gentlemen? Mm-hmm. Dude. Let's. Page one, panel one. Exterior. Wolf Creek Nuclear Power Plant, Kansas. Day. Splash page. Abominus stands over Optimus Prime like a spider ready to devour a fly. However, Optimus Prime remains steadfast, holding his ion blaster high. Abominus. No, Abom... Whoops. (laughs) Second take. (laughs) No, Optimus Prime. I, Abominus, will destroy you. Page two, panel one. Optimus Prime fires his weapon directly into Abominus' chest to no effect. Optimus Prime... I'm sorry. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. Abominus. Ha! You'll have to do better than that. Panel 2. Optimus Prime barely avoids being crushed by Abominus's massive foot as he drives it into the ground. Abominus. Hold still! Optimus Prime. It seems you are also... (laughs) No. Sorry. (laughs) You're adding words, dude. Yeah. (laughs) It seems you also need to try harder. Panel 3. With one hand, Abominus lifts Optimus Prime into the air by one leg, causing the Autobot leader to drop his gun and dangle about helplessly. Abominus. There! Got you! Optimus Prime. Ah! Panel 4. Abominus slams Optimus Prime into the ground as though he were spiking a football post-touchdown. Abominus. Even you can't match my power, Prime. Optimus Prime. (sighs) Panel 5. Abominus smashes his fist into a helpless Optimus Prime. Abominus. You are nothing! Optimus Prime. Hey Panel- guys, you think we should help him? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's man. got this. He's got. Yeah. He's Optimus Prime. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> hey, Ratchet, where, <laughs> Ratchet, where are those? One of those funny pills. <laughs> <laughs> Panel six, Optimus Prime's point of view. Abominus's norm. Abominus's enormous foot hovers over him, ready to squash him into the dirt. Abominus. And now. You will cease to function! Panel 7. Trailbreaker appears beside a battered Optimus Prime to create a force field over them both. Abominus, Abominus's foot stomps upon its semi-translucent dome. Trailbreaker. Uh, not so fast. Abominus. What? Page 3, Panel 1. Abominus pounds against the force field with his fists as Trailbreaker struggles to maintain its integrity. Once again, we can now see Optimus Prime is seriously worse for wear. Abominus. Boink, boink, boink. (laughs) Trailbreaker. Hold on, Prime. Not sure how long I can keep this up. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) panel two megatron stands with Soundwave and rumble the latter holding a full energon cube in his hands all three look off to the distance clearly watching abominus's assault Soundwave. energon quota achieved megatron rumble wow the new guy is really kicking prime's butt megatron Yes! Now that Abominus is a Decepticon, Optimus Prime will soon be eliminated. Panel 3. Lying amidst his fallen allies, Ironhide and Bumblebee, a determined Jazz, manages to lift his gun into frame. Jazz. Don't bet on it, bucko! Panel 4. Jazz fires his weapon. Pew, pew! (laughs) 
Panel 5, Jazz's blast connects with the Energon cube in Rumble's hands, creating a violent explosion that hurls him, along with Megatron and Soundwave, into the air. yahoo <laughs> <laughs> Rumble. <laughs> ah! Megatron. No! Page 4, Panel 1. Jazz leads the charge against Abominus, still pounding on Trailbreaker's force field, with Bumblebee and Ironhide, but now also joined by Ratchet and Wheeljack. Jazz stands front and center, pointing towards Abominus as the others fire their various armaments. Jazz. Come on, we've got to help Prime! Panel 2. With a battle against Abominus in the background, Soundwave helps Megatron to his feet, while Rumble stands holding his leader's displaced fusion cannon. Soundwave. Megatron, we still have enough Energon to meet requirements. We should continue to phase two. Megatron. Uh, Agreed. With this Energon and my new... Terracons, nothing will stop us now. Panel three. Rumble transforms into cassette mode to return to Soundwave's chest as Soundwave joins Megatron to fly into the sky. Starscream, in jet mode, and the Insecticons, Bombshell, Kickback, and Shrapnel, all in insect mode, can also be seen flying away in the background. How dare you not give me lines! (laughs) (laughs) Megatron. Come, my Decepticons! This battle is won! Terracons, fall in! Panel 4. Trailbreaker stubbornly maintains his force field over Optimus Prime's lifeless form as Abominus splits into the five Terracons and retreats, chased off by energy blasts fired by Jazz and Ironhide. Trailbreaker. (laughs) I thought they'd never leave. Panel 5. With the force field down, Ratchet and Bumblebee check on Optimus Prime. The windows of his chest are both severely cracked, a massive chip mars his faceplate, and one of his horns is bent like a coat hanger TV antenna. Bumblebee. How is he, Ratchet? Ratchet. Not good. We need to get him back to the Ark. Bury him ASAP. With my sirens. Woo, woo, woo. (laughs) <laughs> Back in the day, kids, hangers used to be made out of wire, right. which is why they held their form when they got bent. <laughs> Panel 6. Wheeljack supervises Trailbreaker and Ironhide in front of the power plant's cracked reactor dome. Trailbreaker has created a new force field around the dome himself and Ironhide as Ironhide seals any cracks with his glue hands. Wheeljack. That's it. Good. We need to contain the radiation until we can repair the reactor for the humans. Panel 7. Ratchet continues to care for Optimus Prime while Jazz and Bumblebee stand nearby. Bumblebee. What do we do now? And what's Megatron planning to do with all the Energon and Abominus at his disposal? Jazz. You got me beat, little bee. But the doc is right. We gotta get Optimus back to the Ark. Whatever Megatron has planned, it's gonna have to wait. Page 5, Panel 1, Interior, the Decepticon Undersea Base. Inside the Decepticon lair, Megatron stands proudly before the Terracons, now all wearing Decepticon badges. Megatron. Terracons, you please me more than even my most devoted troops. Your power is undeniable and your loyalty unquestionable. Let us do away with your worthless Autobot code names and rechristen you with more appropriate Decepticon monikers. Blot, Cutthroat, Ripper Snapper, Sinner Twin, and finally, Hunger. Megatron has a thing for puns. <laughs> it's like, fi- finally. Panel 2, a clearly envious Starscream sneakily looks over his shoulder at Megatron and the Terracons in the background. Megatron. You're all I could ever ask for. In fact, Hunger, when our mission is complete, you may very well find yourself my new second-in-command. Starscream, muttering quietly to himself. Over my dead body. Panel 3. Megatron turns to Soundwave, who transforms into his cassette player mode. 
Megatron. Soundwave, contact Cybertron. Soundwave. As you command, Megatron. Panel 4. Soundwave is now connected to the base's vast communication system, a Decepticon counterpart to Teletran 1. On the large data screen, Soundwave's face appears. Shockwave's. On the large data screen, Shockwave's face appears. <laughs> Shockwave. <laughs> Greetings, Lord Megatron. Panel 5. Megatron converses with the digital image of Shockwave. Megatron. Shockwave, you may prepare for our return. We will soon have the components we need to create a new space bridge, one that will allow us to teleport back to Cybertron and enable our total victory. Shockwave. Fear not, Megatron. I shall make the necessary arrangements. Been looking for something to do? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I haven't been bored or anything. Thank you for writing ever, you know. It's fine, it's fine. You know, is this on? For some reason I can only replace one of my hands. <laughs> I just can't seem to get the other one. That was the accident. I can't seem to get the other one to happen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Yoshi. It's all right, dude. Totally all right. This has been your Shockwave Minute from Transformers Reanimated. <laughs> I like how you wrote down Shockwave's face as if there's something there. Yeah. <laughs> Shockwave's hideous Aww. fucking eye. The purple one-eyed monster <laughs> appears on the screen. Well, at least you always know which eye to look in, you know? Uh, doesn't get are awkward. you guys talking about me again? <laughs> <laughs> Panel 6. Megatron now stands with his back to the data screen, pointing a commanding finger off into the distance. The Terracons and Starscream stand to his left. Megatron. Excellent! Then our victory is within reach. Starscream, Terracons, you know what to do. Rally my forces, gather the resources, and let nothing stand in your way. Page 6, Panel 1, Interior, The Autobot Arc, Caption, The Next Day. Optimus Prime is dead. Credits. <laughs> <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. It's time 16, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Optimus Prime lies on a medical slab, connected to a series of medical monitors by way of several cables. Ratchet stands beside his chest, while Jazz, Wheeljack, and Bumblebee stand at their leader's feet. Ratchet. You can't die! <laughs> oh, sorry, Ratchet's me. Dying pussy. <laughs> sorry, I forgot about was Ratchet. Prime's life signs are strong, but he needs time to fully recover. There you go. It only took you an hour to fix the yeah. uh, <laughs> first fixed defensor, but whatever. Yeah. He had his goddamn arms ripped off. Leave me alone. <laughs> Panel two, close on Jazz. Red Alert can be seen entering the room over his shoulder. Jazz. I still don't understand what caused the Thunderbots, I mean, I mean Terracons, to turn on us like that. I thought they were cool dudes. I guess not. Red alert. I believe I can answer that. Panel 3, Interior, the Ark's Recharge Slab Suite. Red Alert's words narrate a flashback scene. As we see the Terracons, then Thunderbolts, lying on their recharge slabs from the last issue, while Bombshell, in insect mode, flies towards the room's doorway. Note, since the Terracons are their old Thunderbot selves in this panel, their eyes should be blue. They should also be wearing Autobot badges. Red alert, captioned. According to the security logs, Bombshell was somehow able to infiltrate the Ark and implant Cerebro shells into the Thunderbots, radically altering their behavior. Panel 4, Interior, the Autobot Ark. Wheeljack, Jazz, Ratchet, and Bumblebee once again stand at Optimus Prime's bedside, now with red alert. Wheeljack. But those Cerebro shells are highly susceptible to radiation. Especially like the blast Abominus absorbed at the power plant. Ratchet. Which means, just like their hideous mecha mutations, their brainwashing is also permanent. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My sorry. Are you, are you bot shaming them? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bumblebee. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh poor Bumblebee. <laughs> Blaster from off panel. Hey yo, you guys reading me? Get over here quick. Panel five. Jazz, Bumblebee, and Red Alert have moved to the Ark's main control room to find Ironhide, Prowl, Mirage, and Hound standing around Blaster, whose chest is lit up like a Christmas tree. Blaster. I've got a situation over here. I'm receiving all kinds of distress signals. Emergencies from all over the country. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Holy shit! <laughs> I have to mute them. <laughs> I find if we ignore a problem, it goes away. Yes. <laughs> Panel six. Close on Ironhide's determined face. Ironhide. That's you this time, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Emergencies. I bet it's those stinking Decepta creeps. Page seven. Panel one. Exterior. NASA mission control. Day. Caption. NASA. Houston, Texas. Starscream and his fellow Seekers, Thundercracker and Skywarp, all in jet mode, attack NASA headquarters while Menasaur tears into mission control. Starscream. Attack! Tear this place apart! Panel 2. Exterior. The Kennedy Space Center. Day. Caption. The Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Bird's eye view. Soundwave and the reflectors fly high above the space center as Bruticus attacks its structure. Soundwave. Bruticus, Operation Extraction. Bruticus. <laughs> nice. Panel 3, Exterior, the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, Day. Caption, the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, Washington, D.C. Dirge, Thrust and Ramjet in jet mode fire upon the museum while Devastator stands roaring into the sky like a maniac with with wreckage piled up at his feet. Devastator. You guys want me to do this again? That's you, yeah. I fucked it up, <laughs> yeah. all right. Crush, smash, destroy. Nice. Apologize. I wasn't sure who was Devastator last time. Somebody was, but... Panel 4, exterior. Quantum Laboratories, a military base, day. Caption, Quantum Laboratories, Salem, Oregon. Abominus has demolished most of the base. Blitzwing, Astro Train, and the Insecticons can also be seen decimating that. Sometimes Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch, you screw, Cumberbatch. Up so, you screw <laughs> this up so sad, you, you got to retire. <laughs> Who wants to put them out of his misery? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Blitzwing, Come on, this is Dr. Shelton's big moment here. Come on. <laughs> Blitzwing, Astro Train, and the Insecticons can also be seen demisating, decimating. Oh my god. <laughs> Blitzwing, Astro Train, and the Insecticons can also be seen decimating what remains. Dr. Shelton flees in terror. Astro Train. <laughs> Great job, new guy. <laughs> Pretty five for a triple changer. It's like he's a... reading from a predetermined script. <laughs> <laughs> Insert the guy's name here, or just use new guy if you're not sure. Did you know I'm a train? <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> I want to put a non stop on you. <laughs> Blitzwing. Did we have a Blitzwing? I don't think I don't so. Know, I, I heard that name earlier before we did uh, our uh, uh, I'll, Blitzwing. I'll, I'll oil, oil I'll Blitzwing. <laughs> yeah, at this rate, we'll collect Megatron's space bridge components in no time. I'm a tank. Blitzwing. <laughs> I'm a tank. <laughs> bam, bam. I'm a tank and a jet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody Panel keeps five. saying, look out, there's Cup. So we don't got to stop that. <laughs> Panel 5, interior, the Autobot arc. Blaster stands in the center of frame with Jazz. Blaster's... With jazz. Blaster stands in the center of frame with jazz. Blaster's chest is still lit up with emergency transmissions. Blaster. Houston, D.C., Cape Canaveral, even nearby in Salem, they're all being blitzed by Decepticons. Jazz. Then we need to stop them. Bumblebee, Sideswap, Sunstreaker, Trailbreaker, Blue Streak, you're with me. Panel 6, Jazz turns to address... 
dressed. Jazz turns to address Hound and Prowl. Jazz. Hound, take red alert, tracks, cliff jumper, warpath, and smoke screen with you. Hound. You got it. Prowl. <laughs> and I'll oh take boy. Bra- <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I'll take, take it down. I'll take I'll take Brawn, Skids, Power Glide, Huffer, and Mirage with me. <laughs> as long as they get off my plane. <laughs> I take offense to that. Wow. He has, he has Power Glide with him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that line. <laughs> Belongs. Belongs. Panel 7. Ironhide turns to Grimlock in T-Rex mode. Ironhide. What do you say, big guy? How about you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me say no! <laughs> what do you say, big guy? How about me, you, the Dinobots, and the Aerial Bots turn this into a party? Grimlock. <laughs> Mmm. Me, Grimlock, love party. Page 8, panel 1. Exterior. NASA Mission Control. Day. Caption. Later in Houston, Texas. (laughs) Planet Houston. (laughs) Caption. We have a problem. (laughs) Caption. Later in Houston, Texas. Splash panel. Menasaur stands with sideswipe. Trapped in his right hand, while Sunstreaker is caught in his left hand. Jazz, Bumblebee, and Blue Streak also fire upward at the Combiner as Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp rain fire upon Trailbreaker and his new force field. Sideswipe. Ah, let me go! <laughs> he sounds terrified. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. <laughs> ooh, <He's> really... <laughs> ooh, let me go! Mm. <laughs> No, stop! <laughs> Side <laughs> swipe. Tighter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the safe word again? <laughs> He's got a rocket pack. Bumblebee. <laughs> Keep it up, Jazz. We can't let them get away. Starscream. Destroy these fools! Trailbreaker. Ugh! <laughs> Yeah. That was a choice. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Breaking those trails. <laughs> Panel 2. Menasaur smashes both Sideswipe and Sunstreaker together while kicking through Jazz, Bumblebee, and Blue Streak with his right foot. Trailbreaker's force field shatters like glass under the weight of the Seeker's assault. Jazz. Gah! Trailbreaker. My force field. No! Panel 3, with the beaten Autobots at his feet and Menasaur in the background, Starscream stands triumphant. Starscream. <laughs> Quickly! I want to get the Space Bridge components back to Megatron before those treacherous Terracons! Panel 4, exterior, the Kennedy Space Center day. Caption. Meanwhile, at Cape Carnav... Cape Carnav... <laughs> I just... I gotta quit. <laughs> no. Caption. Meanwhile, at Cape Canaveral, Florida. That works. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Meanwhile, at Trump headquarters. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, we're taking off the air now. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at Cape Canaveral, Florida, Hound, Tracks, and Red Alert, looking off panel, fire their blasters from behind a makeshift bunker created from various bits of wreckage and debris. Tracks. Oh, my beautiful chassis isn't accustomed to such disgusting surroundings. We've got to get out of here. How? Perfect. He's back. You're right, Trax. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this we can take. I know I'm right, you fucking Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, made up, you know, a little, uh, the chassis is made up bunker, like made out of sunscreen or sunstreaker, yeah. but it was left of sideswipe. <laughs> <laughs> Red alert. Hey, do you hear that? Hound. Not now, Red. Page 9, panel 1. From above, the shadow of Bruticus's foot surrounds Hound, tracks, and Red alert. They all look up in fear. Red alert. See? What did I tell you? Tracks. 
Oh, oh, oh. It's tracks being afraid and waspy at the same time. <laughs> like, oh, he's thinking I'm about afraid. the wax he's going to get later. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I got to rub this out later. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I what Raul's up to. I can't reach that last fender. Would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> panel two, splash panel. Bruticus stomps on Hound, Red Alert, and Trax in the background, while in the foreground, Soundwave and the Reflectors make short work of Cliffjumper, Smokescreen, and Warpath in tank mode. Note, Soundwave is blasting Soundwaves from his shoulder cannon at Warpath as each of the Reflectors gun down Cliffjumper and Smokescreen. Soundwave. Destroy the Autobots. Recover the Space Bridge components. Warpath. Blam! Ow! My Aiken audio circuits! Zowie! From underfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cliff jumper. Ugh! Smoke screen. Yarg! <laughs> <laughs> How do you say yarg? Yarg! Yarg! Yeah, these are all. <laughs> I steal all my all my screen, you know, yellings and stuff. They're all pinched from the Marvel comics. That's all I get all mine from. So you blame Firm. You blame Furman for that. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Furman. Furman. They're written with passion. You British fuck. <laughs> Damn you, Furman. Panel three. Yeah! Close on Soundwave's emotionless face. Split beside an image of Megatron's smirk. The panel should look like the two are communicating via transmission. Soundwave. Mission complete, Megatron. Returning to base. Megatron. Good work, Soundwave. Dirge, what's your status? Panel 4, exterior, the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, day. Caption. Elsewhere, Washington, D.C. The museum lies in ruins... In jet mode, Dirge, Ramjet, and Thrust fly away from the scene with Devastator. On the ground, below, Prowl, Brawn, Huffer, Powerglide, Skids, and Mirage lie broken, beaten, and scarred. Dirge. Piece of carbon cake, Megatron! We're on our way! Prowl. I wouldn't wouldn't know if we had a name or what. (laughs) I had to give him time to get that lower uh, octave now. Come on, Prowl. That's what it says. <laughs> Bring it home. Oh, that's beautiful. Page 10, panel 1. Exterior. Quantum Laboratories Day. Caption. And in Salem, Oregon. Splash panel. Abominus slashes the chest of Superion with his sonic sword. At their feet, the Dinobots and Ironhide are engaged in an all-out battle against Blitzwing in tank mode, Astro Train, and the Insecticons in robot modes. Abominus. Superion, you are nothing compared to me. Superion. Yarg. <laughs> There's no R in there. Fuck, I'll redo it. <laughs> Who's Superion? Uh, like, I guess I can Yeah! Well done. He's been, watching, R, CS- so well done. He's been yeah. watching CSI. He's been watching CSI. Oh. You call that Superion. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> superion, Superior. Wait, no, that's... Uh, <laughs> I lost that curtain. Panel 2. With a huge slice now carved across his chest, Superion falls towards the Dinobots below. Grimlock looks up, but it's already too late. Grimlock! Huh? Panel 3. Ironhide dives to safety as Superion collapses on top of the Dinobots. Ironhide. I'm getting too old for this. Page 11, panel 1. Ironhide looks up to see the Insecticon standing over him. Bombshell. Well, Autobot, are you ready for a Cerebro implant of your own? Ironhide. You know what, Bombshell? Panel 2. Ironhide transforms and drives through the Insecticons as though they were a flimsy roadblock. Ironhide. I don't think so. Kickback. <laughs> Panel 3, still in van mode, Ironhide circles back, almost tipping over with speed. Ironhide. 
<laughs> Stupid bugs. Now to take care of. Panel four. Abominus's boot squishes Ironhide like a Monty Python foot. Ironhide. <laughs> and now for something completely different. <laughs> I had to laugh at you, stupid bugs. That was great. <laughs> stupid bugs. <laughs> it's like Iron Eye circles back, almost tipping over for speed. <laughs> stupid yeah. bugs. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. Now to take care of. <laughs> oh, Jesus, whoa. <laughs> Getting too old for this time. Only four million. I mean, I still got time. <laughs> Page 12, panel one. Exterior. The Space Bridge. Nevada Desert. Day. Caption. 24 hours later, near Las Vegas. Megatron, Soundwave, Starscream, and Abominus assemble before a massive space bridge construction. This one is different in design, clearly built from the various components stolen from the human scientific museums, etc. It is also shaped like a large circle, reminiscent of the portal from Stargate, with a huge stockpile of Energon cubes that sits nearby. Megatron. Look upon my ultimate triumph, Decepticons. With this new space bridge constructed from the remnants of the humans' greatest scientific creations, we can transport our energon and return to Cybertron victorious. Panel 2, Abominus looks down to face Megatron. Megatron. And you, Abominus, your true rewards have not even just... Has not even... Oh, God, I'm going to try that... <laughs> And you, Abominus, your true rewards have not even begun. Once we're back on Cybertron, I shall make you my new second-in-command. Panel 3. Unseen by the others, Starscream looks towards the Space Bridge's control panel with a clandestine stare. Starscream. We'll see about that, Megatron. Panel 4. Megatron addresses his Decepticons in front of the Space Bridge. Megatron. This is it, my warriors. No longer will we be stranded on this mudball planet. No longer will we be forced to live on mere sparks of energon. No longer will we... Panel 5, exterior, over the crest of a nearby hill, day. A few remaining Autobots, Ratchet, Wheeljack, Blaster, along with Perceptor, Gears, Wind Charger, Grapple, and Inferno, peek out from their hiding place to view the Decepticons Hello. and their space bridge. Further back, we can make out the smaller group of Beachcomber, Hoist, Cosmos, and Sea Spray. Inferno. There they are! <laughs> Yay! I got sirens too! <laughs> we were hiding while you guys were getting pummeled. You know, as a backup. It's fine. <laughs> you guys got it. Gears. We have a gears. Oh, the gears. Wow, old Buckethead really likes the sound of his own voice, huh? <laughs> there you go. This piece of <laughs> shit <works>. gears. <laughs> Grapple. Yes, but we're seriously outnumbered. Ratchet. Tell me about it. At this rate, I'm going to need a bigger medical bay just to repair the other injured Autobots. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, but with the Decepticons gone, we can use their medical bay. <laughs> <laughs> Wheeljack. Well, we have to try something. We need... To, uh, <laughs> you anything, got it, buddy. anything. Take two. <laughs> well, we have to try something. We can't let Megatron teleport all that Energon back to Cybertron. Perceptor. Yes, but what can we do? Blaster. The only thing we can do, my main man. Panel 6, Exterior, The Space Bridge, Nevada Desert, Day. Blaster leads the Autobots into an all-out assault on the Decepticons and their space bridge. Blaster. Attack! I threw that shit before I came in here. <laughs> <laughs> he had it pre-recorded because he's a type deck. <laughs> <laughs> Always be prepared. 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 <laughs> Page 13, panel 1. Megatron stands before the space bridge with sound wave and bombshell. He points his fusion cannon towards He points his fusion cannon forward to issue his command as Thundercracker and Skywarp transform into jet mode and fly off to attack. Megatron. What's this? Autobot scraps? 
Decepticons, destroy what's left of them! Panel 2, Blaster, Hoist, and Inferno fire up at both Skywarp and Thundercracker, shooting each of the Seekers in the sky. Meanwhile, on the ground, Beachcomber, Windcharger, and Sea Spray manage to wound Blitzwing and Astrotrain with laser blasts of their own under Perceptor's instruction. Blaster. All right, let's shake things up. Perceptor. Concentrate your fire on shared coordinates for maximum efficiency. Beachcomber. Ooh, yeah, baby, wow. <laughs> Blitzwing. Ah! Panel 3. The Insecticons flee from a charging, laser-blasting trio of Gears, Grapple, and Ratchet. Cosmos, in UFO mode, also fires at the Insecticons from the sky. Ratchet. Keep it up, Autobots. Panel 4. Megatron orders his combiners into the fray, standing in the center of frame while Menasaur, Devastator, and Bruticus rush forward. Megatron. Foolish Autobots! Can't you see you're only delaying the inevitable? Panel 5. An enormous nion atomic blast strikes Menasaur in the chest, splitting him apart into the Stunticons. Menasaur. <laughs> Panel 6. Close on Megatron. He is a picture of surprise. Megatron. No! No! It can't be! Page 14, panel 1. Optimus Prime stands heroic... Heroic... <laughs> heroic, heroic <laughs> Held up by a 2 by 4 Yeah. <laughs> Optimus Prime stands heroic... Jesus. Heroically. S- change it to stoically. Who cares? <laughs> heroically. Heroically. Erotically. Heroically. Heroic. Heroic. Oh, fuck. Optimus Prime stands like a fucking hero. Yeah, like a mouse. <laughs> Optimus Prime stands heroically, wielding his ion blaster behind him. Jesus Christ. What you Optimus know Prime about stands Optimus heroically. standing heroically. <laughs> Optimus Prime stands heroically, wielding his ion blaster. Behind him stands Defensor, and behind him stands Omega Supreme. His left cannon arm still smoking from the charge that claimed Menasaur. Megatron, off-panel. Omega Supreme! Optimus Prime. That's right, Megatron. And he's not too pleased to see you. I can speak for myself, Optimus. (laughs) (laughs) Mansplaining (laughs) irrelevant. Panel 2, Omega Supreme. I'm okay, sleep all night. Omega Supreme obliterates Bruticus with another energy burst from his cannon arm as Defensor and Optimus Prime take down Devastator with a combined hail of fire. Omega Supreme. Decepticon Combiner. Irritating. Solution. Immediate. Oh, dude, that was awesome. Bruticus. (laughs) No! Uh, that, was, that was wicked. Could you read that again? Oh, that was good. <laughs> Can you read that's, that like, again? that's like a new ice cream no. flip. Damn. <laughs> Stuart, here's the phone book. Just start with the A's. Uh, Charles, you got competition, <laughs> buddy. A. Abbott. <laughs> a. Aaron. Phone book, boy. <laughs> Google of search for. Yeah. Telegoogle? <laughs> Panel three, like a fastball special. special. You're special, like Yoshi. Like a fastball special, Defensor tosses Optimus Prime into the air, where he delivers one final blow to Devastator's face with his Energon axe. Ow. Panel four, Devastator falls like a cut-down redwood collapsing in a heap. Panel 5. A fearful Megatron backs up towards the space bridge. Abominus can be seen in the background. Megatron. No! No, not with my moment of triumph so close! Abominus, destroy them at once! Panel 6. Abominus rushes towards Omega Supreme with his sonic sword. Omega Supreme. New threat. Compelling. 
Page 15, panel 1. With both Abominus and Omega Supreme duking it out in the background, we can only see their lower halves, Optimus Prime shoots Soundwave out of the way as he, Ratchet, and Wheeljack approach the space bridge. Ratchet. Good to have you back, Prime. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn on my happy sirens. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Glad to be back, Ratchet. Wheeljack, can you disable that space bridge? Wheeljack. Sure thing, Prime. I I can blow up anything, and it's Christmas. <laughs> Look, I brought an anti-space bridge to fire, right? In. <laughs> Is that Ratchet's new siren sound? <laughs> Why do I suddenly want ice cream? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Panel two. Starscream in jet mode fires down upon Wheeljack, which sends him tumbling away from the space bridge. Starscream. Pathetic fool! Nice. That was really good. I've watched a movie. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Wheeljack. Gah! Panel 3. Megatron attacks Optimus Prime, while both Rumble and Frenzy tackle Ratchet to the ground. Megatron. Your crusade ends today, Prime. Your forces are depleted. You cannot stop us from reaching Cybertron. Panel 4. Optimus Prime swings a powerful right hook into Megatron's face. Optimus Prime. We'll see about that. Panel 5. Megatron rests on his hands and knees. Megatron. <sighs> You're still too late. Abominus! Panel 6, close on Megatron, now gasping with terror. Megatron. What? Page Sweet 16, <laughs> Panel 1, Splash Panel. Omega Supreme blasts Abominus towards the inert space bridge. Abominus. No! Omega Supreme. Victory imminent. <sighs> Panel 2, Megatron looks back to find Starscream standing at the Space Bridge's control panel. Megatron. Quickly, Starscream, activate the Space Bridge before it's destroyed! Panel 3, close on smir uh, close on Starscream's smirking face. Starscream, whispering to himself. As you command, oh mighty Megatron. Panel 4. The space bridge activates with a flash, opening a black hole-like portal in the center of its circular frame. Starscream flies away in jet mode. Panel 5, Abominus tumbles directly into the portal and is enveloped by its energies. Abominus. No! Impossible! I am Abominus! I am... Abominus vanishes with a leaving behind a space bridge and its portal. Note, Abominus's final word should sh shrink in its balloon. Uh, I was like, Scott. Abominus. <laughs> Invincible! Page 17, panel 1. With Blaster, Inferno, Gears, and Wind Charger, Optimus Prime and Defensor open fire on the space bridge. Optimus Prime. Autobots, Fire! Panel 2, the space bridge explodes with a flurry of fire and flame. See that? Ten, Panel see that three. ten times fast. Yeah. Panel 3, Megatron backs away as Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, in jet mode, have already begun to flee into the sky. Megatron. This isn't over, Optimus Prime. You've not heard the last of Megatron! Panel 4. Wheeljack, Ratchet, and Blaster watch from the ground as the Decepticons fly away and retreat from view. Wheeljack. Yeah, yeah. Tell us something we don't know. Panel 5. Optimus Prime addresses his troops. Defensor and Omega Supreme's legs can be seen behind him. Optimus Prime. Well done, Autobots. Once again, we've protected Earth and Cybertron from the Decepticons. Page 18, panel 1. What little remains of the space bridge can be seen as a smoking ruin in the background as Optimus Prime, Beachcomber, Cosmos, and Cosmos look up from the ground at a towering Omega Supreme. Optimus Prime. And thank you, Omega Supreme. 
Your assistance was invaluable, old friend. Cosmos. I was afraid we'd never see you again since you took up residence on the moon. Omega Supreme. Fear irrelevant. Doubt of return inconsequential. Beachcomber. Whatever, baby. One thing's for sure. You are out of sight, man. Ooh. <laughs> P- pass the J. <laughs> Omega Supreme. Gratitude. Unnecessary. Panel 2. Blaster, Gears, and Perceptor stand together. Gears is face palming due to Perceptor's overblown dialogue. Blaster. Hey, like, it's a compliment, Daddy O. Perceptor. I believe Omega Supreme is merely trying to convey the notion that assisting in Megatron's under. Oh boy, oh boy, as if we're going to take that on one try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I believe Omega. I always feel bad for the people who have to read this. <laughs> Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I believe Omega Supreme is merely trying to convey the notion that assisting in Megatron's undignified vanquishment was simply his duty and not any type of task he finds pleasure in. Panel 3. As the sun begins to set, Omega Supreme heads towards the horizon. Wheeljack, Beachcomber, and Cosmos wave as he wanders away while Optimus Prime stands victorious with his hands on his hips. Optimus Prime. Either way, thank you, Omega. I'm sure we'll see you again someday. Omega Supreme. Future rendezvous. Inevitable. Panel 4. Huffer turns to Optimus Prime and Ratchet. Optimus Prime. Autobots, let's return to the Ark. I'm sure Ratchet could use several extra hands to help repair all of our injured friends. Ratchet. You bet I could. (laughs) (laughs) Huffer. But what about the Decepticons? You know they'll be back, but when and where? Nailed <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh, my, apolo- my apologies for Huffer. <laughs> Panel 5, close on Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. I don't know, Huffer. Hold on a sec. You run out of staples eventually. <laughs> when did you start wearing a leash? Uh, uh, when did I stop wearing a leash? <laughs> Uh, (laughs) All right. I don't know, Huffer, but I have a feeling Megatron will be busy for a while, dealing with problems of his own. Page 19, panel 1. Exterior. The Decepticon undersea base, underwater. The Decepticon Decepticon base lies on the bottom of the ocean. Megatron, caption only. I can't believe it! Foiled again! Panel 2, Interior, the Decepticon Undersea Base. In the background, Blitzwing, Kickback, and Rumble cower in fear as Megatron destroys the room with his fusion cannon. Megatron. How? How could this plan have failed? What happened to my space bridge? Panel 3, Soundwave, in cassette player mode, is once again connected to the room's communications equipment, delivering another data screen image of Shockwave. Shockwave, from the data screen. Megatron, it appears the space bridge overloaded. Not only due to the Autobot attack, but by changing its coordinates at the last moment. Panel 4. Megatron seems genuinely puzzled. Megatron. What? Who would change the coordinates to purposely banish Abominus to the unknown? Who would... who would... Di- oh, wait, wait, I think I had out this one. <laughs> oh, wait... <laughs> Whoever could it be? <laughs> Sorry. Panel 5. In a separate corridor within the Decepticon base, Starscream flees down a poorly lit hallway, fear etched on his face. Megatron from off panel. Starscream! <laughs> panel 6. Interior. The Decepticon under sea base. Rumble turns to Frenzy with a curious expression. Rumble. St- the red one, right? <laughs> Depends. Still. Still. <laughs> no, you do oh. it. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Still, you gotta wonder. Page 20, panel 1. Exterior, an Eden-like planet, day. 
a space bridge portal opens up in the center of what looks like the charred remains of a former civilization. If it weren't for the twin suns and Saturn-like planet that appear in the sky above, you'd think this world was a decimated Earth. Rumble captioned, What happened to the Terracons? <laughs> Panel 2. The five separate Terracons arrive through the portal. Blot. What? Panel 3, the portal behind the Terracons, closes. Sinner Twin. What happened? Where are we? Hunger. Beats me. But look. Panel 4, wide shot. Even more decrepit ruins can be seen. Nothing lives here anymore. Nothing. Cutthroat. Hunger. This world is empty, devoid of life. Panel 5. Hunger, in robot mode, stands alone as his fellow Terracons have dispersed among the awful new surroundings. Hunger. Well, well, isn't this... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was reading that as cutthroat again. I'm fine. I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> well, isn't this terrible? The end. Now, there was a question mark, so I wasn't sure it. about, uh, like, terrible. Like, hey, I like this. Uh, I wasn't really sure how to read it. You want me... You want me to take it again? No, I, I just didn't know how that was supposed to be, because oh. I, I read that as, uh, I don't know, do they like those surroundings? I don't know. <laughs> well, isn't, isn't this is a, is a question. Isn't. It's a, oh, yes. It's all yes. good. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's episode, uh, what is it? Not episode, 17. issue 17. Woo, woo, woo. I was red alert. I had didn't sirens, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I was Astro Train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which means we're one away from uh, issue 18, which is the Cliff Jumper Cliffhanger. So there you go. Ooh. Well, thank you guys for joining us for Transformers Reanimated, the issue, the reading of issue 17. Um,. Thank you both so very much. This was a, a laundry list of characters, and you guys, your throats are are amazing instruments of vocal. <laughs> How about uh, that, Omega Supreme, huh? Stu- <laughs> wow. Yeah, Stuart, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your Omega. Thank you for all your characters. Yeah. Where can people find you after this? Uh, on Twitter, I'm at uh, Stu and Beyond, and also I have my podcast i'm doing with some friends uh reviewing episodes of transformer cybertron called more than meets the ear uh you can find that on spotify and any other podcatchers and on twitter we are mt mt ear excellent well thank you again sir for joining us yeah it was great being back thank you for having me again james also a big thank you to you this was a ton of characters and uh, uh, just thank you so much, man. How can uh, how can people find you if they want to? If they want to? Well, if they're this? really desperate, uh, <laughs> you can. Uh, my uh, the usual hangout is Twitter at Dogcades, D O G C A D E S. Join the party, me, myself, and I, and who knows? Um, yeah, say hi. James is is too shy to admit this, guys, but he can also be found in Canada. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the trail of donut crumbs. <laughs> Maple. Greg, this is another one in the can, sir. Yep, that's good. Always good to get it in the can. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Took me a moment. I have, learned, I have learned more about you than I've ever wanted to know. Just a second, I have to clean off my screen. <laughs> it's getting hot in her. <laughs> now this is definitely uh it's been a fun uh issue again um yeah thanks like yoshi said thanks james thanks Stuart. that's uh, a lot of voices a lot of characters a lot of nonsense but you guys did really well um yeah so we're plugging away at these i know we're way behind as far as the actual issues go but you know we're getting there so it's uh I don't know. It's like a trade kind of thing. I feel like we get the, you get the you get the scripts and the issues on TransformersReanimated.com straight away, and then a few months later you get the reading. So that's it. If you don't want to uh, if you don't want to read, you got to wait. 
It's a tough it, it is. It is no effort at all to imagine these as full blown comics, but also a cartoon. I can totally see them. Like these are written in such a way that just you know, it's all yeah. just it's narrated beautifully. Like it's great. They're all there. You're you know the scene changes. I mean, it is good to go. Agreed. Yeah, it was just uh, <coughs> well, we, anyone we, listening. We tried to have it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we tried to have it as as sort of succinct as we can get it because we again we assume if someone was to draw this they need to know what they're doing so um well not know what they're doing but know what they're drawing or know what we mean so hopefully we we get it across but yeah yeah but without that you're setting the scene like it's easy for us to okay yeah we could totally you know we know what we're doing it's great Mm. but yeah oh well we'll have every one day Mm. you know they might want to make some money, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Again, a shout out to uh, <laughs> Mr. Kana here for the cover art. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. man's got mm-hmm. talent. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us for this issue, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye. Later. Bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs>